Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us for the Shannon College of Hotel Management PG session as part of NUI Galway's postgrad open day. Um, we are delighted to have you here today. Um, and um, first, I will introduce myself. My name is Sarah O'Mahony. Um, I am the marketing manager for Shannon College of Hotel Management. Um, and with me today, I have my colleague, uh, Lorraine Kavanagh. And she is the program leader for um, the postgraduate programs offered at Shannon College of Hotel Management. Um, so today we are going to talk you through um, all of the different options that are available in Shannon College um, from a postgraduate perspective. So we have a number of different options that are available to students at postgrad level. Um, and they range from um, master's programs to postgraduate certificates. Um, and then we also have standalone programs. So um, short, shorter modules that you can take individually that can be used to um, build up to, to different qualifications. Um, but I'll allow Lorraine to talk you through each of them in a little bit more detail um, and give you a little bit more information on exactly what's involved in each of the programs um, that we have in Shannon College. So um, I will pass you over to Lorraine um, and she's going to talk you through in a little bit more detail. Thanks, Lorraine. Thank you, thank you Sarah. Uh, thank, thank you everyone for joining us today for our postgraduate event. So as Sarah mentioned, I'm the program leader here in Shannon for the postgraduate programs that we have available. So for the next 10 minutes or so, what I'd like to do is just run through the different offerings we have to give you a better idea of what we do. And before I do that, though, I'd first like to just go through some reasons why you should consider studying with us here at Shannon College. So at Shannon College, we have 70 years experience teaching business and hospitality across our foundation, undergraduate and postgraduate programs. All our staff are highly trained, with many of them actually coming from business and hospitality. We also have very strong partnerships with industry, and this is evident in the types of guest speakers that you'll get in across your program and also in the relationships we have with some companies. So for example, in our IT module, the lecturer has been given access to a platform known as Flow, which is a training platform used by many hotels. And so it's great that we have this connection with that IT company, and they're more than happy to share this training platform with us here at Shannon College. We also have a very strong alumni network, and this is overseen by one of the lecturers on our master's program, Tracy Hegarty. And our network is global. We have chapters in cities such as Beijing, New York, Washington, London, and of course, many here in Ireland. And normally the chapters are very active in setting up annual events and meetups. And these are just fantastic opportunities for you to get to meet past graduates and learn more about the industry, make further connections, and even just build some friendships up. We also have a really good student community here at Shannon. Because we're small, it really does allow our students from all different years to get to mix and get to know each other. And we also have a lot of committees. Our students are great at setting up charity committees, dress dance committees. And again, because of these committees, they are also running lots of events with them. And again, these are further opportunities for our student body to get to mix and get to know each other in a social setting. And also in Shannon, we do believe in supporting the student as much as we can. And so we've put different structures in place to try and support you through your educational journey while you're with us. So looking first on the academic side, we have a writing service available through the library. So if you have a written assignment that you'd like some help with, all you need to do is book in with one of our librarians, either Ailish or Gwen, and they'll happily go through your academic text with you. And they'll look at things like um, referencing, or they'll look at a part of your essay that may be weak and may need further strengthening or further research and they'll suggest that to you or they may even look at your assignment brief and kind of say whether or not you know you're staying on course with what you've been asked to do so it's a really good support to have there in place for students also on the academic side we have a disability support officer in in Shannon so if you have a disability you just need to register with the disability support officers in Galway they will then contact Gwen on your behalf and then Gwen will ensure that you have the correct technology um, and any support that you need while you study with us here in Shannon. Moving over more to the welfare side, we have counselling services available for our students. 
And there are two ways that our students can access counselling. First of all, through our student welfare officer, Orla Cullinan. And Orla is actually based here in the college. And she's fantastic. You know, if a student at any time is feeling overwhelmed or anxious or has a worry or concern, all they need to do is pop over to Orla in her office and chat to her. We also have a counsellor who is based in Galway, but she does travel down to our campus uh, once a week and she's also available on Zoom. We also have in place a staff student liaison officer, April. And apart from, you know, I suppose the admin side of her job, like issuing with bank letters and student ID cards, she's also there to help students organize events. Um, and she also herself organizes events that she thinks may be of interest to students like yoga classes, CPR, first aid, and she also organizes competitions with other colleges in areas like football. Um, and we used to have a, ba a badminton league at one stage as well. Um, our program is designed for people who work in business and hospitality and have gained experience and qualifications in this area over the years, but feel that they'd like to bring all of this up to the next level. The programs that we have here at Shannon, as Sarah's mentioned some of them, we have the Masters in Business and Hospitality, which is our original Masters, and we've since expanded this out into two other Masters. We have Global Hospitality Management and Intercultural Communication and Performance Revenue and Asset Management. This January, we're rolling out the PG Certificate in Hospitality and Leadership. And we also have standalone modules available. So if there's perhaps one area that you may want to study a bit more in, you can, you can perhaps consider joining one of our standalone modules instead. Um, just to do a quick overview of the programs, when you complete the program, you will exit with either a level A qualification if you take the PG certificate route or a level nine if you take the master's route. And all our qualifications come from NUI Galway because we are part of one of the colleges there and that is the College of Business, Public Policy and Law. Our programs are designed with the industry in mind so that when you graduate, you already are aware of the current trends and what's happening and that you're meeting the target needs of future employers. We also have flexibility built into our program because we know there's more to life than just being a student. You may have other work commitments and family life commitments that you may need to meet. And so we've designed our program where all the classes in semester one, semester two are on Mondays and Tuesdays. And we find this, this block booking the schedule like this enables people to um, have better flexibility when it comes to arranging work and other, and other commitments they may have. We also have a very high level of engagement with, with staff here at Shannon. Because we're small, it, you'll find that the lecturers are far more accessible. All you need to do is just drop a, a, a lecture an email asking, can you meet them? And if they can meet you in person, they will. If not, they will be more than happy to arrange a call over Teams or Zoom and discuss whatever issue you're having. And we also value industry exposure a lot. And you'll see that again from the range of guest speakers you have in on the program. And also on the master's program, there is a field trip to a nearby hotel in the first semester. So you can see what you're learning in practice. Moving on to our program structures. So what I did was I, I've put the three master's programs side by side to give you an idea of what they look like. And if you look for the first two semesters, the modules are the same. Now, I'm not going to run through the program, each module individually, but I will speak here about the one in red, and that's business analytics fundamentals. Up until this year, we had research methods as one of our modules, but after some market analysis and speaking to students and looking at what industry needed, we decided that business analytics fundamentals perhaps better suited what are our student requirements rather than research methods. So this is a new module, which will be starting this coming September. So as you can see, the three masters are fairly, are actually the same for the first two semesters, but it's in semester three where things change. So in semester three, you have different ways of exiting the program. So looking first at the masters in business and hospitality, in semester three, you have three options on how you'd like to complete the semester. The first one is there in the light blue, and for this, you select five, um, you select three electives and you complete a business consultancy project. And what happens is that the, the three electives you select, they normally take place over a week or two, kind of towards the end of May, beginning of June, and you'll be given some assigned coursework to do with that. Once that coursework is complete, you then move on to your business consultancy project where you're given an actual real life client who has an issue or a problem that they'd like you to solve or address for them. So you do get some good, good, good industry exposure there with the project. 
So that's one option. The other option, if you look there in the slightly darker blue, is the research thesis. So perhaps you may prefer to specialize in a particular business or a hospitality area, and perhaps the research thesis may be the option that would suit you. And it's a supervised thesis, so you will be guided throughout the process the whole way through. And the final option, which is in the dark blue, is an internship instead. So instead of completing the, the summer school, the, the research thesis, you, you can go and work instead if you prefer. Um, moving over to the other two masters, and you'll see there are two options to exit these. And this is where you specialize. So for example, um, you have the option to do a research thesis or an internship on both of these courses. Um, but the focus will be on what your, what your master's degree is. So for example, if you're doing hospitality performance revenue and asset management, you would either do a thesis or an internship with a focus on, on one of those financial areas. We also have our PG certificate, which is starting this January. And for the PG certificate, you complete semester two of the master's program. So you complete hotel asset management, project management, strategy and innovation for hospitality and intercultural communication for business. The PG certificate, you will be in the classroom with the other master's students and you will be graded at the same level. And the reason why we do this is that if in a year or two you decide that you'd like to come back and complete the master's, the PG certificate will give you some exemptions towards that. And we also have standalone modules. So if there is an area that you would like to improve on or learn more about, you may like just to sign up for one module instead. But these modules, similar to the PG certificate, can be used to build up towards um, a larger qualification, including the master's qualification, if, if you'd like to do that. So perhaps it may not suit you to do a master's over a year or two. You may be able to accomplish one over five or six years. And so the standalone modules will allow you to do that. And the modules that um, we, we, most of the modules are available and they include modules such as performance and revenue management, project management, strategy and innovation for hospitality and hotel asset management. Looking ahead at the academic year for 2022-2023, orientation normally takes place at the end of August and it's usually in the last week of August when this takes place. Semester one starts on Monday the 5th of September and it runs through until Friday the 25th of November. And then in semester two, you come back and you start on the 9th of January and you finish on the 31st of March. And just to let you know, we don't actually have final exams on our master's programs or the PG cert. Instead, you just complete assignments and presentations throughout, throughout the academic year. So um, your finished date then, you are completely finished. You don't have to come back in for any exams. And then semester three takes place over the summer and it usually starts towards the end of May, beginning of June and it runs until August. So looking first at the entry requirements for our master programs, we ask that our candidates have a second class honours degree or higher in a related area. You will have a short interview with both Sarah and myself. Um, we do look for relevant experience in either business or hospitality. And we like to see passion. And this will come across very clearly in the personal statement that you will be asked to upload as part of your application and also in the interview with us. For any international applicants, we do require that you have an IELTS of 6.5 with no band lower than 5.5. And moving on for the PG certificate, the entry requirements are fairly similar to the master's. Again, you need a second class honours equivalent or higher in a related area. However, for the PG certificate, we may consider work experience in lieu of an academic qualification. And this will be a discussion that we would have with you. Um, again, we'd like to see passion for the industry and education. And again, IELTS students, um, any international students need an IELTS of 6.5 with no band lower than 5.5. And sorry, I should say this is probably more for EU students that, whose English is not their first language. So looking at the fees, um, if you're an EU student, you can complete the master's uh, for 9,100 or part-time for 4,620 per year. For non-EU students, it's 16,360. And unfortunately, because of visa restrictions, it's only available as a full-time option. Um, the PG certificate is also only available for EU students and it's 3,500. And the standalone modules, if you're completing one that's five ECTS, it costs 550 euro. And if the module you select is 10 ECTS, then it's 1,100. There are also some scholarships available. And we would recommend that you look at this website sooner rather than later because often some scholarships tend to have very early closing dates and you may miss out. 
If you'd like to apply for us, we are now accepting applications for January 2022 for the PG certificate and for September 2022 for the master's program. Uh, just go to this website and log in. You'll be, um, you'll be prompted through how to set up an account. There is a small admin fee of 35 euro. Once your account is set up, again, the system will tell you what documentation you need to upload. And once you submit, we will get notification that you have an application on the system and we'll contact you to set up an interview. And it's online and it takes no more than 20 minutes. So if you have any further questions, please just visit our website or you can contact me on lorraine.cavana at nygalway.ie. So thank you very much for listening and we hope to see you in Shannon. Thanks, Lorraine. Um, uh, that's great to get such a, um, a, a good overview of all of the different programs. Um, and just one question that, that came in um, while you were speaking, um, just in relation to the, the master's programs in Shannon, and um, the question was just in relation to, you know, what, what kind of um, what kind of areas could students expect to go into after after they've completed um, one of the, the master's programs in Shannon? Well, I think that's what's good about our master's program is that they're quite universal and a lot of our skills are transferable. And in fact, we had this discussion recently with a graduate who realized that their degree could be used in many different industries. So yes, definitely business, of course, business and hospitality would be key, but we have in the past seen some students move into retail instead. Some have moved into IT. Um, but they do find that they have a, a good solid foundation under them moving into these industries and they have confidence, which is really important, I think, going into a new job is confidence. Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, I think something that hospitality brings is while you are learning all of the business areas, you're also learning um, people skills and, you know, how to deal with customers, which I suppose is uh, is something that's always very, very important. Um, so I know that um, the uh, PG cert is starting in January. So is there anything I suppose um, that, that you would see as a, a good selling point for the PG cert, something that makes it a little bit different to the master's program? Um, you know, for those who are working in the industry, that it, it might be a good option. Yeah, I, I think because it's short, it's 12 weeks, I think it really could work well for people, especially in January. It's, it starts in January. That tends to be a quieter time. So perhaps people working in hospitality may be able to find it's it's manageable um, with their work schedule at, at the moment. And it will be completed by the end of March, as you saw. So again, you're completely free before, I suppose, um, high season kicks off again. So, so that's one advantage uh, for when it takes place during the quieter part of the year for hospitality. And, you know, looking at the looking at the subjects that are available, you know, they really do target lots of areas that people right now after seeing COVID, you know, people have realized they need to have better strategies in place. Um, there's definitely new projects in the pipeline. Um, and we are recruiting more and more people from um, the European Union. We've seen that happening with Brexit. There's been a huge knock on effect. And we're now starting to see more people coming in here from the European Union. So I think all of these subjects together really work really well. And it's short, it's 12 weeks um, and it's done. And, and I think then you have a better insight into what to expect going forward. Absolutely. I think it's, it's a great insight into, into, I suppose, this this level of education and to see if it is something that suits you that you might like to go on and uh, and continue. So um, the, uh, another question that came in was in relation to um, the internship. Um, could you tell us a little bit about how that that side of it would work in terms of, you know, the, the how, how a student would would get that internship and then I guess what kind of an internship it might be? Yeah, the internships we are running in conjunction with our placement officer, uh, Deborah Hanlon, and she'll oversee this. And throughout the year, um, I suppose Deborah will try and meet the students and see, you know, the areas that you're interested in. Because as you can see, there's three different masters with three different um, spe specializations. So she'll look to see which area you're most interested in working in. And then um, throughout the year, I'm happy to look at CVs, I should say, as well. And, you know, we'll get we'll get them up to industry standard. And then Deborah will set up interviews. 
um, with different partners. Um, we're also not, you know, we're moving outside of hospitality. We're also looking at the financial sector as well. Um, and at the moment, Deborah is making connections there. So we will have a, a, hopefully a broad range of job opportunities for um, students who wish to go down the internship route instead. Yeah, absolutely. And then I suppose then leading on to that, the, the research options that are there as well are, um, you know, for those who are, are more research focused and are interested in, in developing an idea a little bit further. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. If there's an area that you're really interested in, for example, say sustainability, you might, do, if you're on the business and hospitality masters, that may be an, an area you could be interested in. And there are definitely staff in the college who have expertise in that area. So they'd be more than happy to supervise a thesis that would look at sustainability. And often students, I suppose, don't may undervalue or underestimate the value of a research thesis. But what it does, it helps you specialize. You become the expert in that area. So if you're reading a lot about sustainability, you'll learn the latest updates, future, future trends, and you'll find then that you may create a little niche for yourself so that when you are going out eventually after you finish with us and, and you're looking for work, you may actually have um, a specialty under your belt that your other your other colleagues may not have. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, I think that's that's it. When you do go out to to industry and you're looking for those jobs, it is so important that you have something unique to offer the employer. So it is, it's great to have that option. To yeah, and the research yeah, season, it's not just, it's not just writing, which of course is, is a form of communication, you know, there's surveys, there's interviews. So you're just building up a whole load of other skills that can be transferred then out into the workplace when you're finished as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely an, an interesting option and I think definitely will suit some students. So it's it's great that that has been um, yeah. into the the um, the master's programs in Shannon. Um, you mentioned as well earlier when we were talking about uh, the internship about, um, you know, our placement office and and, and all of our, our partners in, in industry. I suppose that's something that's that's definitely really important to mention to students is that you know, we we work with um, 130 hotel companies around the world already, and this is always growing, always developing. Um, and I suppose um, in terms of employment, when you do complete the program, the opportunities that are available within Ireland and um, Europe and around the world within hospitality at the moment are, are incredible. There are there are amazing opportunities out there. Um, and the hospitality industry as a whole is really, really looking and eager to recruit um, highly qualified individuals into the industry. So um, I, it's, it's a very, very good time to be looking for employment in this area. Um, we're, we're inundated every day with, with emails from recruiters and from hospitality companies, from other businesses looking for our students, which is a really, really positive place to be, I suppose, um, uh, when, when we do have students that are coming out with their with their master's program or their 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 certificates um, at the end of, of the program. Um, yeah, so I think I think that's it in terms of of questions. Um, I suppose we would just like to say thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Um, and um, I suppose if there are any questions, uh, Lorraine and I are always available to, to arrange one-on-one -on -one calls with individuals if you do have specific questions. Um, and if anyone would like to um, get in touch or if you'd like to come down and visit the college, meet some of our students, that is also an option. So please do uh, get in contact if there's anything that we can help with. And thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you very much.